Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy at just underscore mage. And this is Most Hated Interviews. I'm here with a special guest. And like I say, every guest that come on the show is a special guest. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, yo, yo. Awe. Is your boy is your boy Andy Entree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For me, but let's get right into it. How your day going so far? Going good, man. It's very calm. Very right. calm. But how was the commune? Not too crazy, right? No, nah, not too crazy. Bad, 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 bad. I bet. So you feel me? Just give us a little background. You know where you from? What's your age and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm from East New York, um, Brooklyn. Uh, I'm 24. Okay. So I'm hit 25 this year. Uh, you know, and I love doing music a lot. So, got you, got you. Know, you. I, yeah. I bet. So what first got you into music? Um, my cousins, mm-hmm. um, cause they from England and everything. Mm, okay. So they um they was rapping and that's all they they tingle whatever. But I ain't know I was good at it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Until they started pushing me and got stuff, you. and then you know I started just taking over from there. Bad, bad. Got you. So you would say your cousins was like the first people to inspire yeah. you to make music? Yeah. Got you. Got and then you. we used to have parties in the, in my basement a lot too. So. We'll be having people like Uncle Murder pulling up in the, in the okay. basement, mad people popping out and stuff like that. So that brings a bigger yeah. inspiration and stuff like that, too. So, yeah. Okay, got you. I, f- I fuck with that. I bet. So how would you describe the music that you typically create? You feel like you have an influence from um, your cousins from England? Um, to be honest, I don't think I have an influence. I, mm. mean, I mean, like, like I do have an influence. Um, I, I say... Um, like you know, like Tupac or okay, okay, you know, um, like Biggie. If mm-hmm. I want to be on my storytelling stuff, you okay, know what okay, I'm or like J Cole, or if I'm trying to be on a creative mode, I be like, look, I look at Travis Scott or mm-hmm. them type of guys. You know, it's just a variation of a lot gotcha. of people. So I don't really have a, I can't really say I have a specific, specific, right, you know right, what right. I'm saying, um, influence and stuff. So right, so you make a diverse, you make diversified music. Yeah, basically. I mean, I make sure I I hit all different types of um of like you know pinnacles in the music mm-hmm. so that goes to say like you know i'm very versatile yeah and stuff yeah like that so yeah. what what genre would you would you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet um i like to do spanish mm. so you can speak spanish huh so you can speak spanish nah nah oh no nah. you just do the poppy nah, and nah. shit nah yeah i mean like nah nah i have to learn like i don't know how i pass my spanish regions right <laughs> but uh uh, we actually have a, like a Spanish song or whatnot called okay. Santa Rita. Right, right, um, right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my boy Hot Blizzy. Shout outs to him. Okay. Um, and that's featuring yes, sir, me. Hot that's going to be building. on an upcoming um, project that we're going to drop um, in March called the Aoi Tape. Okay, okay. Um, so, yeah, um, that's like Spanish in a, in a way or whatever, but like in a trap. Okay. Mode, so, yeah. I fuck with that. I yeah. bet, bet. I like that. I bet. So, what is your creative process like when you're making music or when you're trying to make diversified music? Um, I don't know. I think I think like for me, I have to like, I gotta be at a real chilled like space or whatnot. Okay, I have to be at, at a real chilled space. It gotta be. It has to be like nighttime. Okay, on top of it too, and then um, and then I start like you know all the creative juices start flowing. Then mm-hmm. from there, whether I. I either watch like a interview from somebody right, or anything right. and then it will push me out to do what I gotta do. Gotcha, and gotcha. I just get on I just turn on my speaker, play some beats or whatnot and just get straight to it. Bet, bet. Now people could watch an interview and get this spot. Get yeah. inspired, feel me? But I bet. So which signed or independent artist would you most like to work with? Independent? Signed or independent. Signed. Um, it could be more than one too. Mm. If it's signed, mm-hmm. if it's signed, um, it could be any like any type of label, right? Yeah, any yeah. type of. If it's signed, I go for quality control. Okay, I go for quality control. That I can see myself there. Oh, so you want to work? So you would sign there, and you want to work with people from there? Yeah. So I, who who in quality control would you want to work with? Um, I work with like um, like you know like Red, okay, uh, Migos, Little Baby. Okay, okay. You know, I work with like pra- practically all of them. They got some heavyweights in there. Right, so they do. They do. I work with them. Um, or um, what's another one? Uh, I probably work with um, with like uh, with Rock Nation. Okay, you okay. Know what I'm saying, um, as far as like local, like independent wise, mm-hmm. um, I don't really know. Okay, um, as much, but yeah. Gotcha. I mean, okay. I fuck with that. That's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Have you ever performed before? You said have I? Have ever? you ever performed? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many times? 
Um, what have I ever performed where? Like yourself, like anywhere, like anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I and what was like your favorite place to perform? Uh, I say Blackthorn. Mm. I say Blackthorn only because um, you know, it's a nice um, big spacious spot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like it more. Like you know, they have the smoke ventilators there. Right, right, right. Um, you know, the bars right there. You know, you got two DJ sets like on each end and gotcha, stuff like gotcha. that or whatnot. I, I like how the stage is and stuff. So it really makes you feel like you know mm. you're. Like it's like real concert and stuff, and a lot of big things um been happening at that venue. Okay, you know, so yeah. Okay, got you. I like that. So, what is your favorite song to perform, and what would be your favorite song to perform? I don't have a favorite. You don't have a favorite right now. I, I be real with you. I don't have a favorite only because every time um when I'm working, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, when I'm working with the guys or I'm working um, with myself or whatnot, um. It's always something different that that comes out, mm-hmm. and I actually enjoy it. Right, right, and, right. Like I make sure now, like you know, I'm much more in tune on live. Mm-hmm. So you know, anytime I'm coming out with like a good, good, good song or whatever, or whatever the case may be, like I actually go on live. People can hear it for themselves. They Look see the song. whole process of how it goes and stuff like that. So then you know, it it's something to look at mm-hmm. and whatnot. So. Um, I have a lot of favorites and stuff. I okay. can't really pick. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, I like that. Now, a lot of people feel like that, you know, because when you put your all into every song, it's mm-hmm. hard to pick, like, okay, this is my favorite. Right. Because different songs give you different feelings. Yeah. All right, got you. I bet. So it's a little segue real quick. What other talents do you have besides making music? Um, I could roll up. Now, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's um, a talent. Like, nah, let me stop. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, um other talents um i could draw okay i could draw I, I could draw a lot of people don't know that um mm-hmm. um i can um i do i could do a lot of good graphic designs okay i like graphic design and um um video edits okay um everything okay got you took that talk yeah. bad so um what, what do you think you'd be doing right now if you weren't making music if i weren't making music um i'd be I'll be going for like you know anything else that can push me into probably that door like uh, okay you know if it has to be photography if it gotta mm-hmm. be um like you know um video shoot visuals right, right. anything that you know what I'm saying um that can lead into that you know whether mm-hmm. e- even if it's modeling and stuff like that like you gotcha. know I would I would probably push into that you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying I push into like anything that's like okay. I gotta if I know medium. that I'm good at it, if right. I know I could be good at it, or I know I'm good at it already, I'm gonna push into it. Gotcha, like, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? And if this isn't working, then I know I'm good at this, so that can work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Regardless, I'm hitting to this, mm-hmm. whether it's doing something different or not. So. Right. I feel what you're saying, bad. I yeah. bet. So it's another little segue, kinda. How do you feel a pandemic has impacted your music, or do you feel like it even has impacted your music? Um, I feel like I feel like um, I feel like it's um. It's like a 50-50 okay. sort of thing because, um, um, well, for one, I don't feel like anybody really thought that the pandemic was going to be like this crazy. Yeah, I feel like that too. <laughs> you know, nobody ain't thinking it was going to be this crazy or right. whatnot. Um, so when when it first, um, so when, it, when you know, the world got the first word on it and mm-hmm. stuff like that before the whole shutdown. Right. Um, me and me and the me and the gang, we was already, um, we was already like doing like big shows, like you know, um, Power One Hundred Five One shows, right. High Ninety Seven shows with DJ Drewski. Yeah, I think I seen um, some of those. I seen some pictures and shit. Like yeah, that and everything. And so like we was already doing that, and we was like winning competitions back to back, and like you know we go into Hot Ninety Seven, you know, like you know doing interviews. We're doing this, that, and the third, and then all of a sudden it's like boom. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? It's Pandemic. like shut down. Then it's like I right, that kind of humbled everybody down, kind of mm-hmm. slowed everything down a bit or whatever. But then once everything started to reopen, you know, everybody was on the same page. Like yeah. you know, like you know, like my man's true for them. Like you know, they we was all like we have to um get back on the road. Like we gotta right, play right. catch up now. So mm-hmm. we gotta get straight to it and stuff. So bang you know. bang, I right, bet I like that though. So it wasn't so, so it's like 50 50. I feel like that that's how it was a lot of people too. Yeah. Cause you could have took the pandemic and like that shit hit you and you don't want to do nothing no more, or you could use that shit to push you. 
Nah, you just use that to push you. You know what I'm saying? To like turn every negative to a positive. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Um, like like I can't I can't really sit there. You can't really sit there and weep about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. All your life, you know, you gotta do something. Like you know, it gotta have some type of impact to you to actually do a lot more. I think, um, the pandemic actually did a a, a good justice to not just you know with me, but like mm. with a lot of people right, because right, right. people is still willing to do like they're going 10 times more harder mm -hmm. with doing things than anything because they just never know right, what's right. going on and what's happening this that, and the third and everybody's taking a lot of advantage right of this of the reopens of the stores and all that yeah. stuff too as well especially like you know you doing this and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah, that's man. that's that's even pushing it even more that's so, a fact yeah. that's a fact i bet so building off that a little bit about the pandemic how do you feel the internet has impacted the music industry as a well? whole Oh, oh, it's um, it impacted a big way, you know what I'm mm. saying? Because the challenges, like it's it's like the TikToks, the TikToks, like TikToks making people like blow up like quick, like yeah. um, you got mad stuff that's happening on the internet where like people just randomly just thinking out yeah. the box, like yo, let me just do this or let me just do that. And it blows, and yeah, like everybody's man. doing it because some people are either quarantining, and that's something good for them to quarantine mm -hmm. with their families or with friends and stuff, you know. And it is um, it never makes them forget that, like you know, you can have fun with life still, even if you have a pandemic going around and stuff. You still can be having fun. Just be cautious with it, but you could still be having fun. That's a fact. Right? That's a fact. I bet. Got you. So, um, it's another little segue. What are some people you admire, and what have they taught you in life? Um, I admire, um, I admire my mom, mm -hmm. um, because she's um she's the type of person that's like you know like without her support and everything and mm -hmm. seeing who she is as a woman and as, like you know whatnot and that pushes me. Like, you know, to do what I got to do. I'm like, yeah. all right, that's an inspiration right there. That's a fact. You know, I admire how hard of a worker she is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, she has that hustler mentality and everything to keep going. Right, right. Hard and stuff like that. So that's one of my, um, uh, that's one of the people I admire. Um, You know, people around me, like, you know, yeah. my friends that turned out to be brothers and right, sisters right. to me. You know, I admire them because, you know, um, like they always say, the company you keep is like you know is a representation of you. That's a fact. So, you know, each person that I look at, you know, what I'm saying is literally a representation of me. Like who, like you know, you have, you know, one person that's gonna be funny, and I have funny ways to where I'm like, I right, bet I could crack a joke in this damn third, or right. have somebody that sit there and be serious, and I could be a serious person. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of that. So yeah, that's I mean, all right, But I, I like that. Where do you see yourself in five years, and do you see yourself still doing music? Um, in five years, um, I can see myself still doing music. Okay. Um, but also I could just see myself like more on an entrepreneur sort of stage, mm. like you know, on my Jay Z sort of yeah, sort talk of that talk, bro. way. Like you know, I'll be you know manifestation. You know, it's mm. like I gotta um in five years I'll be I can see myself um. You know, some doing something big for like you know a a company or whatnot, or right? My own company, right? This down and third, making um collaborations with another big company that mm -hmm. makes my brand even ten times more bigger. So yeah, you know, like you know, hopefully on the um excuse me on the Forbes list or anything. Right, right. So that's so. Yeah, I heard it here first five years. Watch out, my boy Andy Facts though. I bet so. Um, this is a little more short short term. What do you have in store for 2021? Um, music on the back burner. I got, I got so, nah, nah. It's, it's to the point where I don't even, I can't even hold, I can't, I got like a lot of unreleased. So mm -hmm. it's to the point where I can't even, I can't even hold those stuff back no more. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta really start pushing those out. Facts, you know, facts. You know, um, I can't waste no time with with a lot of stuff. So mm -hmm. I got so you know with the Aoi tape that's dropping in March. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That gotta get out the way. Facts. Um. Facts. You know my solo project that gotta get out the way. What's the um, name of it? Let the people know. Yeah. Um. Like my solo project. Um. I'm coming out with a sequel to my first project that I dropped last year called Better Now. Okay. Two. Um. It's going to be an EP. 
Mm-hmm. Um, consist. This one going to consist of like eight tracks. Okay. Instead of the first one, the first one consisted of four tracks. Y'all can link in my bio, official Andy Entree underscore. Yes, sir. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, I got like a lot of stuff. Like I'm just not only working with my stuff too. I'm working with, you know, my team. Working with like other people in the team too mm-hmm. as well. Trying to make sure they got this stuff out the way. So I'm doing a lot of like okay stuff in between and stuff mm-hmm. like that so yeah okay bet i bet so what is one message you would give to your fans um never stop um doing what what matters to you you know what i'm saying um if you feel like you have something to show out to the world and and stuff like that you know and so on and so forth don't be afraid to like you know show people that you have that gift. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because even if it's the same gift that somebody has, it's not really the same because right. it's always something different that sparks another person's brain into you mm-hmm. and actually getting tuned to you and stuff. So you know, and you know, also if you're shy, try to find you know for my introverts out there, try to find something that's um like try to find something that could really push it. So if you have to listen to um to like an artist that that sings sad music or Mm -hmm. something that you like or whatever that actually makes you feel good and stuff like that do it you know what i'm saying if you feel like you got to clean up the house and stuff do it you know what i'm saying anything that can help you push into doing like you know pushing out your gift and everything just do it you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying don't let nothing stop you but that's all you know you heard it here first just do it don't let nothing stop you feel me Hail my boy Andy. Yes, sir. Until next time. So, I'll be here. Watch out. I'm gonna get him on pop out. Shoot his body to the dropout. Make the ball while I stop now. Fuck his bitch till she top out. Fight. Beat it up till she pass out. But watch your mouth. Get head of yourself. Fuck around. Get knocked out. Nigga, I'm on your block with the Glock out. Stay popping in the damn round. Fuck around. Man down. Nigga screaming, say man down. On it. Roll it. E pill that we on it. Evil. Chill my demon, shoot my ox and I'm speeding Nigga, what? If we have a problem, then hit me up I death for your block and I shake it up I bet we gon' light this whole city up Who is you? My gang gang be true and true We spit for your block like a hula hoop I bet we gon' light this whole city up Big Andy on another level I got a dormy and I carry several Roll with demons, I'm the big devil Kinda heat it up like a stove kettle Pushing gas like I'm pushing pedals Niggas want smoke, they can get the metal Bad joint and she talking jello I'll beat the kitty like a saying hello I smoke ops in my radar I scrimmage out like the playoff Shoot the last rock and let it take off More money, more pay off I stay with a heavy pack Got the shit jumping in the trap But with veterans with all the mad damn This lifestyle we too attached Woo! Watch out, out of the game, we gon' pop out Shoot his body till it drop down Makes it fall while I stop now Fuck your bitch till she top out Fight, beat it up till she pass out But watch your mouth, get head of yourself Fuck around, get knocked out Nigga, I'm on your block with the clock out Stay poppin' in the damn rounds Fuck around, man down Nigga screamin', say man down